we've had the pleasure of uh, working with uh, a lot of companies across multiple industries. And what I've noticed is, as always, industries, manufacturers, companies are trying to improve their operations or improve their uh, productivity. It could be maximizing machine uptime with predictive maintenance solutions. It might be their operational efficiency or even energy efficiency improvements they're trying to make. And more frequently, recently, we're um, we're, we're seeing customers are trying to improve their, their quality control processes at the end of line as well. Now, uh, many of them, uh, you've often said to me that um, when they reach the limitations of, of some kind of physical implementation, then they turn to AI to, to try to solve more complex problems. Many of the solutions available today are, are cloud-based. What are your observations in terms of what's available to, to companies out there today? What are the typical approaches and, and what are the kind of limitations that they're facing? Almost all of them rely on some cloud-based solution. So usually you have all the data that is generated on site, say on the shop floor, the factory floor, and this data is collected, sent to your cloud, but you cannot send everything. So usually it's say, I don't know, five seconds every hour for a given rotating machine sent to the cloud and it's the brain is in the cloud. Uh, and the, the issue with that is, well, it's expensive. You have to pay for the bandwidth. You have to pay for the computing in the cloud, for the storage in the cloud, and you're storing a lot of data you will never use. Uh, then it's not real time. You have this delay because of this five seconds every hour, for example. Uh, you may miss important data. And progressively, they realize that they're reaching some kind of, uh, of barrier, uh, the cloud barrier maybe where uh, they have issue with scalability. Uh, if you have a thousand devices, it's a thousand times the bandwidth, the computing. Uh, security is an aspect of it as well. Uh, the more you move data, the more risks you're taking, of course, in addition to the expense. And maybe the last item in this process that our customers are talking about today is because of this delay, uh, you usually leave the domain experts out of the loop. You know, these technicians, engineers who spend their lives on the factory floor uh, dedicated to maintaining a machine or improving quality control process, and they, they feel disconnected because the brain is far away and they don't have the tools to interact with the system.